UTEP currently sitting at three and one as they begin Conference USA play, and they do so right again here at the Sun Bowl on Saturday against Old Dominion coach Dana Dimmel joining us now in studio for a weekly coaches show. In order to move forward, let's look backward, coach. That game against New Mexico on Saturday, safe to say one of the most satisfi satisfying victories of your tenure here? Oh, no doubt. That was a gigantic way for us to win a, a ball game, Nate. It was a huge ball game for us. We had a very tumultuous two weeks between games that I really couldn't speak about before the game, you know, but uh, had a lot of players miss and a coach actually missed the game. And and uh, to go through all that adversity and, and be able to, to get a win for us was just a tremendous, tremendous effort. Was it eight players out due to COVID protocol going in that you didn't think you'd have? Yeah, during the, during the first two weeks, we had, we had you know, eight guys get sick and miss. And, and, you know, obviously some guys missed the game because of it as well. Well, obviously, New Mexico is a team that the wins necessarily haven't been there the last couple of years. That's a physical defense over there and a win against a Mountain West opponent. Best coach team we're going to face, uh, uh, in my mind, uh, defensively, the best coach team for sure that we're going to face. And a really well coached offensive team as well. And, and a scrappy, scrappy bunch that was really fired up to come in here and play and, and uh, had a lot to prove. And, you know, we had a lot to prove as well. And I think uh, we really tested our medal and, and, and we, sta we stood the test. How big is your confidence right now going into conference play? Two games now above 500. Uh, I think we're gaining confidence. I think we are. There's nothing like winning to gain confidence. I think our team's getting that confidence game but just again you know you, you you learn you gain the confidence and then you move on you know and, and and so now we're moving on to the next game and we got to be locked in and have our best week of preparation as we get closer and closer to kickoff and your opponent you guys are favored against old dominion here on saturday but old dominion one and three they played some pretty good opponents yeah old dominion's got a good football team you know, they played a really tough schedule. You know, they've had three really difficult games. Uh, when you look at their games, they've had Wake Forest, Liberty, and Buffalo, uh, besides their, you know, what game against a, a lower division foe. And so tough, tough uh, schedule for them to have to handle, and, and uh, they're getting better all the time. And you've seen so far in your three years here the community rallying behind winning teams. Are you starting to notice that here around town? The buzz start to get a little bit bigger and bigger? Yeah, I talked about that. You know, I thought that that game day atmosphere was the best since we've been here. But just the whole atmosphere really looked like college football atmosphere should look. And then when we got in the game, the fans were so into it. They had penalties because of crowd noise. I mean, how fantastic is that? If you build it, they will come. Kind of holds a little truth to down here in El Paso. Yep, we're you know we're put we're we're obviously you know trying to do our part, and we just need we need that support. We need everybody to come out because it did make a difference in this New Mexico game, and we definitely need it in the Old Dominion game. Three games above 500. What would that be for you? Mean for you? Oh, that, that's huge. You know, that's a huge step. Starting off conference play in a positive note is really, really good for us. With a win, would be gigantic, and also also getting three games above 500 would be just tremendous for our football team early in the season. Taking on the Old Dominion Monarchs Saturday night at the Sun Bowl. Coach Dimmel, stay hot. We'll see you coming up against the Monarchs.